Welcome to my channel. Today I will tell you about the laws of cosmos. The laws of the cosmos are often associated with the so-called the laws of the universe or laws of nature, which are the universal laws that govern our world and universe. These laws are often quoted in different contexts, such as philosophy, spirituality, psychology, and so on. They can be understood in different ways by different people. Some claim that these laws were originally written down by ancient philosophers such as Hippocrates, so between 377 years BCE and 460 years BCE, or Plato approximately the same time, while others claim that these laws are a more, more recent discovery related to the New Age movement and metaphysics. In any case, these laws are often presented as universal laws governing our world and universe, and their interpretation and application are subject of debates. The New Age movement is a movement that embraces various ideas and practices related to spirituality, personal development and self-realization. Its aim is to promote individual and collective spiritual development by combining various elements from various spiritual and philosophical traditions such as Hinduism, Buddhism, Taoism, Christianity and many others. The New Age movement often promotes a holistic approach to health and wellness in which body, mind and spirit are considered integral parts of the whole. The New Age movement is promoted by various individuals and organizations around the world, including authors, teachers, musicians and other spiritual activists. Many people see it as a movement that is flexible and open to different interpretations and perspectives, while others see it as a form of pseudo-spirituality. Uh, the New Age movement is often criticized by some people who consider it frivolous or dangerous, while others see it as an, um, as an important and effective way to discover spiritual truths and development personal potential. The Law of Attraction this principle suggests that we can attract positive experiences and results by focusing on positive thoughts and feelings. This principle also suggests that we can attract our desires results through the power of thought and intention. The law of vibration. This principle states that everything in the universe vibrates at a certain frequency that we can attract certain experiences and results based on the vibrations we emit. So in the, odd, in the simple words, we can say that if you stay positive, this will allow the universe to give back those positive vibrations that you, that you send. The law of action, this principle um, states that in order to materialize our desired, desired results, we must take action to achieve them. The law of correspondence suggests that the outer world is a reflection of the inner world and that our outer experiences reflect our inner thoughts and beliefs. The law of cause and effect states that every action has an equivalent and opposite reaction and our thoughts, action and behaviors have consequences that can shape our experiences and results. The law of compensation suggest that the universe will provide us with everything we need to achieve our goals and desires. The law of abundance suggests that there is an abundance of everything we need in the universe, that we can attract abundance into our lives by focusing on abundance and gratitude. The law of polarity suggests that everything in the universe has an opposite and that we can use this two-dimensionality to our advantage in materializing our desired outcomes. The law of manifestation, known as the law of manifest or law of attraction, is the principle that our thoughts and feelings are primary determinants of our experiences and results in life. According to this principle, our thoughts and feelings are the energy that attracts certain things, people and situation to us. Therefore, if we focus on positive thoughts and feelings, we will attract positive experiences and results to us, while focusing on negative thoughts and feelings can lead to ne negative experiences and results being attracted to us. The New Age movement, the laws of the universe and everything we discussed here 
are directly related to the end of the age of Pisces. Earlier eras are, for example, the age of the bull called Taurus or the age of the lion. Since 2012, it can be assumed that we have entered the era of Aquarius. This was foretold by Jesus Christ with the words, mm, you will be met by a man carrying a water jar. Follow him into the house where he is entering. Luke 22.10 The eras of the zodiac signs are divided into periods of 2150 years. The transition from one era to the next is always accompanied by huge climatic phenomena, but also wars and collapses of great states. They were also usually represented by a messiah one being Jesus and another known was Moses. The law of the cosmos were often discussed by Bob Proctor, who lectured on the subject in his exposés. I will leave the link to the video below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like to grow my channel. Special thanks to Ralph Smart and Bob Proctor for making those videos possible for me as they were my inspiration in the research.